Okay. Now let us see how we can do this Young's modulus using non-uniform bending. So basically, what is Young's modulus? It is linear stress by linear strain. So that means you have a rod here. You can select any material, a wood, aluminium. You can see it is changing. Or uh, copper. Now it's a copper wire, a copper rod, or steel. Okay. Now what are you doing? You are uh, connecting it between the two ends, and in the middle you are applying some tension. For this, what is happening? As you increase the tension here. You can increase the tension here like this. Hundred. Initially it is fifty. Hundred. Each graduation is hundred. One fifty. Two hundred. You can see the weights are getting added. As it is getting added, it is you are pulling that scale made of steel downwards. So you are applying some stress. So that means this rod here undergoes some tension. It undergoes elongation. Or it is stretched downwards. Now you cannot measure how much this bending is going on with your naked eye. Therefore, you are making use of an instrument here, which is known as a traveling microscope. What is this traveling microscope? It can move along. As you can see, there are two screws here, top and bottom. You can release this screw, and there is a scale attached here, a main scale and a vernier scale. As you studied in your intermediate classes, similar to that, we have two scales here. One is moving on the horizontal, and this is the scale which is moving along the y axis. So, this because it can be moved along x axis or the horizontal axis as well as y axis, this is referred to as a traveling microscope. This is since it travels, it is a microscope, but it is traveling. Now, what is the least count of this? If you can blow up and see there are twenty divisions between zero and one, one and two on the main scale. So the value of each main scale division is one by twenty. And there are fifty. The small scale is one year scale divisions. There are fifty here. So one by twenty. What is the definition of least count? One main scale division divided by the total number of one year scale divisions. So one by twenty by fifty one by thousand so point zero 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 one two zeros in one centimeter that is the least count. What is the least count? That is the minimum distance, the minimum measurement that any instrument can make. That is the measurement that can be made from this instrument. So what? How do you do this? You have two pegs here. Okay. You can fix this knife edge distance. If you see, as you move, as you move, you can see the knife edge is moving. If it was very close, you would not be able to see there is one more knife edge possible. So adjust it in a convenient way that you will be able to see the two edges, and this is exactly in the middle. This this position is the same. Only the knife edges are changed, and. Telescope position. Mass of the weight. These are the variables. So you can choose any of the material here. Okay, and this you vary. Breadth also. You can see it is changing. The thickness is increased, which is marginal, so you won't be able to see much. Fix it at a convenient value. Any convenient value of the breadth. And thickness also, some convenient value. These two you fix it. Knife edge only you have to adjust so that it is well within this. And uh, initially you apply fifty grams. Point Young's modulus. This is which material it is? It is made of steel. So it is twenty into ten to the power ten newton per meter square is its. Um, value. Then apply hundred grams. Same thing. So the result, result will not change. Let us see. You must reset. Apply the mass to hundred grams. 
correct to some convenient value. This you need not change every time, this is same. So usually 40 only is convenient. It will be, you will be able to see this problem. And then, what actually happens is, when you see this pin, it is a pin which undergoes tension in this direction downward. But when you see, it's like this. This tip is upwards here when you see with the naked eye, isn't it? So when it is pulled down by means of the weight here, it goes down. But in the microscope, this tip is, which is inverted V, shows as normal V in the microscope. And the, when it is elongated downwards, it will be shown upward in the microscope. So then find the result. 1.1 into 10 to the power 10 newton per meter square. Yeah, I change it to wood. Similarly, go to some other aluminum. Same settings, if you don't change, you can see the result is changed to 6.9. Then go to wood copper. Let us use copper. Without changing any settings, it is now plugged in. So what you have to do is, let's go to the data sheet. We are doing uniform bedding, isn't it? What we are using is non-uniform bedding. You can repeat the same thing for uniform also, non-uniform bedding. So what are we finding out? We are finding out the aim of the experiment is what? To determine, to determine ends modulus using non-uniform bending. So mass you vary, keep the knife edge distance, repeat the experiment for 30, 40, 50 etc. up to uh, different uh, materials you can use. Similarly, you can do using non ends modulus using uniform bending. So, bread thickness remain the same, knife edge distance, wood aluminum, 30, 40, 50, 64 readings if you take, that will be enough. So, how do you see the setup? Uniform bending, same setup. The difference here is you have two weight hangers instead of one. Okay, these are the two weight hangers, and then knife edge. Conveniently, you keep. You, again, you have all the different materials. Different materials are there. Choose a convenient breadth, convenient thickness, weight hanger distance. Another thing is weight hanger distance. What's happening? You can. What's happening? Where is it changing? It is changing here. This distance between these two. That also you can fix it at a convenient value. And then. You can see this distance here and find out the result. Result wound is 1.11. For the same settings, let me go to aluminium. Now the result is 6.9. Go to steel, it is 20. So, likewise, you will be doing it for different experiments. The experiment is calculated.